Assalamualaikum and very good morning to our lecturer Dr. Siti Zubaidah binti Ismail My name is Muhammad Hanif Nawfal bin Muhammad Usni and my group members name Muhammad Ashraf Rushaidi Muhammad Zakri and Muhammad Helmi As the subject uh, of production planning we had made the project of operational plan for the tower light Today I will be present about uh, introduction and organization chart For the introduction Production planning is a fundamental part other than organization and marketing plan Creation arranging include the creation of the item of or administration as per quality among detail and time to the client uh, as the name of business, first of all, we had named our company, which is Future Light Sendirabel Heart, which is located in Kajang Selangor. We had named our company Future Light because it is very futuristic and also had the connection with our product, which is uh, Tower Light. We hope it will attract more customers to buy our product. For the nature of of business the main focus of this company is to assemble parts to make complete tower light we supply to local hardware shops and manufacturing industry for the location of business the location of our factory is at pt 1400 bandar technology kajang selangor besides it is near to other factory so it will be easier for us to supply our product for the, the date of business the operation of our factory will be run at 22 october 2020 as we register our company at 22 february february 2020 for organization chart as you can see mama ashra is chief executive officer mama zakri is is Chief Technology Officer and me, Mama Hanif, Production Manager and Mama Helmi, which is Chief Financial Officer. Officer, that's all from me. I will pass to my friend, Mama Zakri. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and good day, everyone. My name is Mama Zakri, SSCTO. Thanks to Anin Afal for presenting the introduction and organization chart. I will continue our presentation about literature review and product tree. Okay, first I will explain about literature review. The first component is light tower. Light tower is a piece of mobile equipment which is has one or more high intensity electric lamp. Almost always, the light are attached to the mask which is attached to a trailer with a generator set set to power the lamps. Second component is chips board. Chipboard is method of circuit board manufacturing in which the integrated circuit are wired, bounded directly to a created circuit board by eliminating the packaging of individual semiconductor device. The complete product can be more compact, lighter and less costly. In some cases, chipboard contraction improves the operation of radio frequency system by reducing the inductance and capacitance of integrated circuit lead. Last but not least, the third component is LED. LED is basically a small light emitting device that come under active semiconductor electronic component is quick comparable to the normal general purpose diode with the only big difference being its capability to emit light in different colors. The two terminal, a knob and cathode of a LED when connected to a voltage source in the correct polarity may produce light of different color. Next, I will explain about product tree. For this product, we have we have three levels of product tree, which is level 0, 1 and 2. Level 0 is a whole body which is this tower light. Level 1, we have two components which is which is light and LED. For level 3, the component under light, which is casing, screw, 
red LED, yellow LED, keyboard and wire. They have four component under leg, which is shaft, mounting, screw and nut. That's all from me. We pass our presentation to Helmi. Thank you very much. My name is Muhammad Helmi bin Kamarudin, TA17096. Uh, first of all, thank you to Zakri. Uh, today, I will continue this presentation. Uh, I will present about work scheduling, uh, bill of material, and the last is about um, the event. Firstly, as uh, you can see, our company work from Sunday to Friday, and holidays only on Saturday. Next is bill of material. Uh, we use 10 items to complete this product, such as we use casing, uh, 1 unit, uh, screw, 5 unit, uh, RED rate, 6 unit, and more. The total price for bill of material is RM348. Next is about cost. We calculate the event quantity for 3 years and the fit cost for our company is uh, RM50,000. We have a uh, category of uh, 4 category in this cost such as uh, labor, electrical bill, transport and space rent. Okay, next, next is about variable cost. For the variable cost, we only have two categories. Uh, first, raw material. Uh, we assume for raw material is RM348 ringgit per unit. Uh, and the last is shipping cost. We assume 5 ringgit per unit. So, the total cost for this variable cost is RM348 uh, 53 ringgit. Next, I will continue about the break event analysis. The break event have uh, be calculated using formula volume equal uh, fit cost uh, divide sale price per unit minus variable cost per unit. So we get the V is 657 unit for first year break event analysis. This means that approximately uh, 658 unit value need to be uh, sold in a year to reach break event. For the second year is we get 1,360 unit and the uh, third year is 1,974 unit so it means for 3 years we must sell 1,974 unit to reach the break event uh, I think that's all from me uh, for today I will pass uh, to the next presenter Ashraf. Uh, thank you, Muhammad Emi. So today I'm going to continue with the presentation. Uh, before I proceed with the presentation, uh, let me introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Muhammad Ashraf Shahidi bin Abdul Rauf, and I'm going to present about the material requirement planning, which is MRP, which cover uh, L4L, POQ, and also the POQ. Beside, I also with, uh, will present about the POQ and also the conclusion. So let's move to MRP. So for, as you know that our product is a tower light, so the given demands uh, will be uh, the total requirement for 12 periods divided by 12 and we get the value of 97 unit and the ordering cost will cost uh, 348 ringgit and 99 cent and also the carrying cost will be uh, 1 uh, ringgit. So next is the L4L table. So as you uh, can see here, the L4L table, uh, the period will cover for 12 months. So as you can see here, the net requirement uh, is the same as the plan or the receipt.
for L4 L table. So next uh, for EOQ and also the POQ. So in order to uh, make the EOQ and also POQ table, we need to know the value of EOQ, also known as uh, Q op and POQ. So the value of EOQ uh, can be uh, found by using the formula 2 times by CO and times by D and divided by uh, CC and all of this will be square root and we get the value of 261 and for the POQ uh, the formula is uh, EOQ divided by demands uh, so we get the 2.69 and then we round off and we get the 3 uh, for POQ so this is the uh, EOQ table so this also for 12 months uh, so uh, for EOQ we get the value of 261 so as you can see here uh, the num uh, the the num period number two we plan or the receipt is 261 uh, and the period number four period number seven period number uh, nine period number eleven so for POQ table uh, this also cover for twelve months uh, so we found that uh, our value of POQ is three so we need to sum up the uh, period total period for three uh, which is uh, two uh, since we don't have any gross requirement for period number one uh, so we we uh, exclude it uh, for the sum of so for period number two period number three and period number four uh, we get the value of 306 for period number 5, 6, 7, we get the value of uh, 324 while the period number 8, 9 and 10, we get the value of 318 and also the period number 11 and 12, we get the value of 218 so this is our POQ table so next, uh, we need to find the total cost uh, for all L4L, EOQ and also the POQ so in order to find the total cost, we need to uh, use the formula uh, for total cost uh, which is a uh, number of order times by uh, ordering cost plus by total projected on hand times by carrying cost so for L4L uh, the total cost will be 3,838 ringgit and 89 cents while total cost for EOQ is 3,188 ringgit and 95 cents while the total cost for POQ is 2,300 63 ringgit and 96 cents so we know that uh, the value of the total cost uh, we found that the POQ is the least uh, amount the rest uh, which are L4L and also the EOQ so let's move to economic order quantity also known as EOQ so we know that the annual demand for our product is 1166 ringgit uh, 66 unit and the ordering cost will be 348 ringgit and 99 cents while the carrying cost will be 1 ringgit so in order to find the EOQ uh, also known as uh, QOP we need to use the formula which is uh, 2 times by CO times by D and divided by carrying cost uh, all of this will be square root uh, and with, uh, we get the value of 903 units so for conclusion uh, so uh, based on the MRP uh, we have done so we found that the POQ uh, method uh, uh, was uh, supposed uh, to be was chosen so because the total cost for uh, POQ is 2,363 ringgit 96 cents is the least compared to the total cost of uh, EOQ and also total cost uh, for L4L which are 3,188 ringgit and 95 cent and 3,838 uh, ringgit and 89 cents respectively so in order to minimize the inventory cost uh, 903 unit uh, of the product uh, is the optimal order amount to be uh, purchased so that's all from us uh, thank you